Hello guys, welcome to the Fancy Council. Or I should say, welcome to the Fancy Council. Yes, this is going to be, before we get into the video video, this is going to be a little quick update on, well as you can see the name changed again, I don't know, I've been playing around with stuff, I don't know where I really want this channel to go. But, uh, but yeah, I changed the name, we're now Fancy Council, we're the Council of Fancy. Now, uh, let's get into the video. Mwah! Okay. Um, now I just found out the most saddest news that I've ever heard. Coco, the gorilla, passed away in her sleep. Uh, thirst. Uh, this is Thursday, I believe it said, on the news. So, Coco the Gorilla, for anyone who doesn't know who Coco the Gorilla is, she's the gorilla that knew sign language. <clears throat> sign language. And had his own pet cat, but died. Cat died, but still. Had a pet cat. He was the sweetest gorilla ever. But, yeah. She knew sign language. I just want to say... Rip, Coco the Gorilla, she will be missed. She was my favorite monkey. Well, Gorilla. This, well, she's the one, that, she's why I love monkeys and gorillas. But yeah, we will miss her dearly. She was the best Gorilla. I just want to say that now. She was my favorite, I was her biggest fan. Coco the Gorilla. <clears throat> I cried when I heard on the news. I cried, man. It, it was just. It was so sad to me. Coco the gorilla is just like, I just love her. She's my bitch. She's just a... <clears throat> um, but yeah, Coco the gorilla was the best gorilla ever. And I want to take a few minutes, a few seconds in silence for Coco the gorilla. Coco knows. She's a big gorilla. Coco, the beloved gorilla known for her warm personality and sign language skills, has died at the age of 46. She graced the cover of National Geographic twice. She was friends with Mr. Rogers. Oh, you. Oh, it's you. Okay. Oh. Love you, visit love. Oh. Well, that was very nice. Thank you, Coco. And Ron Williams called meeting her a mind-altering experience. Tickle. 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 Coco rose to fame in the early 1970s when an animal psychologist by the name of Francine Penny Patterson taught her how to communicate when she was just one year old. Penny would make the sign for drink and then help Coco do the same. Her vocabulary started with simple words. If you watch Coco closely, she's learning to put her fingertips to her mouth to sign eat. Together to more. Coco stunned the world when butterfly was added to her terminology. A complicated word for gorillas to learn because it involves the difficult maneuver of interlocking their small thumbs. Butterfly sign, my butterfly sign was crappy here. Hold on a minute. You can do it. Yeah! Butterfly! Coco went on to sign over 1,000 words. She could understand about 2,000 words of spoken English, showing an impressive range of both emotional and cognitive abilities. Coco was also known for her love of cats. She got her first kitten on her birthday in 1984. The reason that it's so, it stands out in people's memories is because there's an emotional surprise there. There's a giant gorilla with a tiny, tiny, tiny helpless kitten and being gentle and loving. She adopted a trio of kittens later in life, surprising everyone with her nurturing skills. Her life on Earth was extraordinary, one that taught humans about empathy beyond the human race, and one that will touch audiences and warm hearts forever. First, I want to say go check out Inside Editing because made this video, but um... It's just, I, it, I am so sad that Coco died. She's a role model, if you ask me. She's, I don't know, not, I, she was my role model, okay? Uh, I'll miss her very much, and rip Coco the Gorilla. The most favorite gorilla in the world.
uh, goodbye, and I'll see you next time.